Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain what is two string method in Java and how to override a two string method. So generally the object class is the base class for all Java classes. So in object class we have a different methods like two string method, equals method, hash code method, clone method, wait method, notify method, notify all method and finalize method so coming to the two string method so what is the use of two string method to override so the two string method is used to return a string representation of an object so for example if i want to try to print the object so internally the compiler calls the two string method to get the string representation of an object sometimes we have to override the two string method to get the object data. Now I am going to show you how to override a two string method. Just to go to Eclipse, select new tab, class name. So my class name is bank customer. Select the main method, select the finish button, remove the unwanted comments. So in this bank customer, I am going to take different properties. Into account number string customer name and uh, double balance i am taking three properties so here i am going to initialize the properties for initializing the properties we have to use the constructor so here i am going to initialize the values account number customer name and balance so in this i am going to initialize the values so this dot account number equal to account number and this dot customer name equal to customer name and this dot balance equal to balance so generally the constructor is used to initialize the variables now i am going to create the object of this class bank customer equal to so this is my object name equal to your bank customer so here in this constructor i am going to pass the all the values so i am going to take account number as 101 and uh, customer name is ram and uh, balances i am going to take thousand so now i am going to take one more object and the object name is customer one here i am taking account number as one or two and customer name is venkat and balance is 2000 so now i am going to print the object so piston dot out dot print ln customer one and i am printing the two object now i am going to run the program run a java application so if you observe here without overriding the two string method it will print the hexadecimal value suppose if you observe here the object is returning this is the package name whatever we have and this is nothing but a class name and at the rate of hexadecimal value so it is returning the hexadecimal value suppose if you override the two string method we will get the all this uh, customer data now i am going to override the two string method for overriding the two string method 
just we can use like uh, we can generate the choosing method just to go to the properties and select the source tab and if you come to here generate a twisting method so here we are getting the all the fields so here this is fields we are getting selecting all the fields and i'm selecting generate so here if you see here the twisting method is overriding so without writing manually we can generate the twisting method suppose if you want to override the so manually if you want to override we can override like this only so here i am going to now i am going to run the program so if i run this program i am getting the customer data like this account number is 101 and account number name is customer name ram and balance 1000 so second object account number 102 and customer name is venkat and balance is 2000 suppose if you don't want to generate the automatically if you want to override the two string method just we can override like this only public string two string so here we can write like this only so if you don't want this just to Add return statement so I'm going to return a customer first is the account number so here I'm going to write a account number and customer name and another one is the balance so here I can use balance so like this also we can override the two string method so now i am going to run the program run as a java application so if you see here we are getting the object data so this this is how we can override the two string method so friends don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video